guys. So today I'm vlogging because we're going schooling with the horses, which is very exciting. Um, we were meant to be going yesterday, or yesterday, tomorrow, but my dad's actually away at work now, so we're gonna go today instead, which is uh, exciting. I've already said that. Um, so I'm going to catch the horses now. Of course, they're in the very back of the field, so I have to walk through all the muck. And we are bringing Cal, like I'm riding Cal there. We're also gonna bring Welbeck. I'm not sure if I'm gonna ride her or not. I'll see how she is, but um, um, yeah, we're bringing her for company basically because she's been in a lorry loads of times in her old yard. She's a very good traveler, so she'll hopefully instill some relaxation into Cal. <laughs> Cal has never traveled ever before. He's actually never even been off our property ever in his life, which is insane. <laughs> his world is about to get a bit bigger. And yeah, I'm nervous because I don't want him to hurt himself or freak out, but he's a pretty good temperament. Like, um, he's pretty chill about most things, so he should be fine. And I'll bandage him up and yeah, he should be good. I keep looking down because it's really mucky. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get them now and I'll see you when I'm brought him in. So I have Cal in now. There he is in the stable trying to escape somehow. <laughs> and I'm just going to groom him now. And I'm gonna do a little time lapse. So Cal is all groomed, I even brushed out his tail, which took so long. He's been really, really bad at standing. Um, he's never usually across this side of the yard and he's really like, not so keen about it. But it's good for him to get used to standing in different places because he's gonna have to do that a lot. Yo Cal, looking good. So now Cal is um, all groomed and in his stable and he's neighing like a lunatic. He's usually really good to stay in the stable, but I think it's just because he's never been in those stables before. He thinks he's in like a completely new place and he doesn't know what's going on. But I'm getting Welbeck now and he'll settle down once he sees her. So yeah. So Welbeck is all clean now, even though I won't actually be riding her because I lunched her and she's a little bit off. But she's just gonna come for moral support. <laughs> and um, I might give her a walk around like like unload her, walk around and leave Cal in the in the lorry just to get Cal used to Come on, girl. just to get Cal used to staying in the lorry on his own because he will have to do that at shows and this is a good time to learn or for him to like experience it because it'll be a quiet atmosphere like no one else is gonna be there and we have like we're not in a rush for classes or anything so we'll be able to just like see how he is he's gonna freak out like I know he is because he's freaking out there when I just brought Welbeck into the arena but young horses it just comes with time on oh very fancy and his cooler on Whoa. and he's ready to load it's very exciting so we're in the lorry I'm about to drive down just to the yard to pick up the horses very exciting fingers crossed all goes well it's very exciting we've like never used the lorry before so new times
just finished schooling around with Kyle now and he was absolutely super like he went from not even wanting to go into the arena or over like a tiny pole to like jumping around like what 80 that fence there isn't looking 90 um he was absolutely super um yeah <laughs> he was like really wound up at the start wouldn't really walk kept neighing to a while back and now he's like walking like a lamb just once he knows his job and what he's doing I think he just kind of gets a bit reassured and we did lots of filler training, so he jumped over lots of fillers and he was actually really good. Um, wasn't that spooky, definitely didn't like stop or anything. Yeah, couldn't couldn't fault him. He was absolutely super and so proud of him. Um so we're gonna go well, bring him schooling again before he actually goes into a show just because in a show like you want the horse to be over prepared. Like you don't want to be going in, not sure if you're gonna go around, because if anything goes badly then you don't have the opportunity to jump again really. 
well, a morning guards are very nice. If they know you're on a young horse, they will let you. But um, but a lot of places won't. So you don't want to leave them on a bad note or a bad experience. So better over prepared than under prepared. A morning guard is only like 10 minutes away from us. So it's very, very handy to get here and just go around. So yeah, I'm delighted. I'm going to give them a walk off and then we're going to load them back up and shape up around the arena and it's the cutest thing ever but Cal is not so keen especially when they cry like that he hates it what is it Cal? oh no it's so scary let's go and these two agents up here oh gosh I love lambs they're just the cutest hey shout out to my roommate Ali McCarthy who probably doesn't watch my vlogs but loves lambs Cal's like running away he's so afraid also I've been <laughs> Thanks Cal. Also I've been riding with my new leathers from Gaze and Gordon for a week now and I really like them still. I really feel very secure, especially times like this when you have a little baby and they're wobbling around the place and you can't even get them to go in a straight line. It's very nice to feel like your legs are literally like hugging the side of the horse and they're like attached. Yeah, no, I've really, really been feeling a difference and I definitely think my lower leg lower lower leg is more stable, so you guys tell me had a problem with the lorry not starting. It's all good now. Fixer Joe. <laughs> his name isn't Joe. <laughs> good boy Cal. He's a bit sweaty after his travel. Sorry. He gets a bit nervous. Sorry I'm talking to the video. <laughs> and Dad's bringing down Lubeck now. After her very easy trip. <laughs> and here's Hopper coming. Hey girl. home now the horses are eating their feed oh I'm so like happy with how the day went like it could literally couldn't have gone any better the two horses loaded perfectly they traveled perfectly Cal was so good he was so grown up he was just a little bit excited at the start oh there he is and um, he's just a little bit excited at the start which is you can't really blame him completely new places never seen before he did get quite sweaty in the horse in the lorry on the way over which is why he's quite sweaty but um we didn't actually do too much work with him um he actually dried off while i was riding but then sweated up again in the horse lorry on the way home just because he's a little bit like oh no what's going on but he was very good because we have a camera in so you can watch him and watch welbeck and they were perfect welbeck was the big egypt she kept turning her head the whole way around to like I don't know what she was doing like, but anyway, yeah, she was very good as well. She traveled in a horse lorry um, a good few times in her, like her previous owner had a lorry, so she knows the drill. So yeah, I'm just going to wait until they're done eating their feed and then I'm going to put them out and that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, pretty exciting. This is a taste of things to come in the summer. We're going to be going to shows and uh, schooling most weekends, so I'm so excited for that. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.